Hello, this is Leonardo. In this video, I wanted to show you a comparison between tangents, which is my Steiner Parker filter, and a real uh, hardware Steiner Parker. So the one that I'm comparing with is this one. It's it's my own version of uh, of using design. So if you want to to check the original using the web page, it is this one, and here you can find the standard Parker. And yeah, but this this is the one that I that I wanted to to design the PCB and make it in this smaller format. And you can find in here in my web in my web page uh, the schematics. And, and also the, the design files. So basically this is the schematic and this is the, the control board. And so in order to make the comparison, what I'm doing, I'm taking the fundamental VCO, which, is, uh, which goes uh, into, into, into the expert slippers uh, hardware and the audio interface, which is sent into the Steiner Parker filter and bring back into into VCB rack. And on the other side, we have the VCO going into tangents and here in the scope and to to uh, to cross fade between the two signals. I'm using the the MSM fade. So on this side we have. The, we have tangents on the A area, and on the B we have the the hardware version. In the scope, in the blue we have uh, tangents, and in red we have the hardware. So the first thing that I want to clarify is that uh, my filters are. Uh, are simulations but not emulations so what's the difference an, em uh, an emulation the, what it tries to do is to, to replicate all the behaviors of a, of a certain hardware including the position of the knobs and also like every every uh, nasty detail that the that the hardware can have it, it tries to be replicated and in my case, where I do simulations, I don't try to, to replicate everything. So what I actually do is, is trying to, to stick to the, to the original circuit, but on the way I make corrections to, to it. For example, sometimes the hardware has, has behaviors or problems which I don't like, and I can fix them with, with, uh, uh, with software. In the in the model in the mathematical model, other things that that I that I sometimes change is that uh, if there is a detail that that I feel that doesn't really worth replicating uh, because it just consumes CPU and doesn't improve the sound, I, I remove it and uh, yeah, try, trying to to use less CPU. So the Tangents and the my Stein, my Steiner, Steiner Parker, my external or hardware Stein, Steiner Parker are uh, do not match exactly, but they are pretty close. And I'm gonna show you uh, which are the differences and also the advantages of using tangents. So the first one, we are gonna listen to to both of them completely open. I don't know if you can hear it, but but in tangents, 
it opens much more than the than the hardware. I'm gonna show you again. This is the hardware. This is tangents. And th this is this is because uh, I mean it can be many many factors. First, the the, the circuit of the filter may not be uh, capable of, of uh, at the maximum position of the knob sending the, the specific voltage that is necessary to to completely move move the poles and, and, and open the filter. It can also be that that uh, through the signal uh, path there are other components that that uh, act as, as a low-pass filter but the result is that it doesn't you just can you just cannot open it completely well to, to be more correct it's actually possible to open it completely but there is a, a downside that uh, if, if you try to open it completely uh, you cannot you need to calibrate it but you may not be able of closing it <laughs> So I, I try to find a, a point in which, which is good, uh, how much it opens and how much it closes. So if, if I want to match the sounds, I think it needs to be around that. Well, I'm that's just I guess maybe a little bit more but around that so that that's uh, that's the maximum that that the real tangents will open and the next difference that I want to show you I, I need to to insert some resonance so I'm gonna put them both around the half and I'm gonna increase the resonance here and the resonance of tangents as well Try to match the frequencies. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lower the the frequency. I'm gonna we're gonna listen only tangents first. may need the headphones for this one but the main difference is that uh, well tangents closes more but also preserves better the the low end we have a lot of bass and this is intentional because I like to make uh, bass sounds it's I mean most of the sounds that I make are bass uh, that's what I that's what I always like to preserve. Lots of the of the low end. Which is something that you that you cannot have <laughs> enough in the in the hardware version. Okay. Now let's try to match the sounds again. The next thing that I wanted to show is the resonance. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna increase uh, the resonance in the hardware. I'm 
actually going to use a lower frequency around there so it's easier to see okay did you hear that so what i'm doing is increasing the resonance a little bit and but there is a point there is that, that point which is very difficult to control in the hardware in which it jumps completely to uh, it, it completely saturates so what's happening if we see the original circuit is that the, the feedback is so high uh, that the that this two operational amplifiers so uh, again this is the, the feedback the feedback circuit here we have the output which goes into the potentiometer uh, that is used to control the resonance then the signal uh, goes back in and goes into the filter again what's happening is that uh, there is so much feedback that the operational, amplifi um, operational amplifiers are saturating and they're just bouncing from the minimum to the maximum which is what we can see here Tangents uh, uh, What I did in tangents it was actually implementing a, something slightly different I saw uh, on, on a web page which I actually don't remember which which one it was that it's, it's possible to to inst instead of having that hard clipping behavior it's possible to add a, a pair of diodes in the feedback path and in that way it limits how much the how much it, it soft clips the the feedback which it, it provides a, a more controllable and nicer sound let's listen to tangents So it's it's uh, oscillating, but it doesn't reach that uh, uncontrollable state thanks thanks to the to the soft clipping. But we still get this uh, sound. <laughs> So in the in the hardware version, I'm keeping the resonance at the same at the same position, and you can you can hear that here uh, that at this frequency the resonance is is low. But as as I'm moving, uh, uh, as I'm opening the filter, uh, it tends to have more resonance. But tangents it actually keeps the, the, the same amount of resonance, even in the lower frequencies. So the difference is, is is less pronounced with tangents we can have like very very low frequencies like this and yeah this is not possible in the in the real version so this is this is 
complete close uh, with a high resonance and I'm going to increase the resonance a little bit more 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 okay and it jumps it's not possible to control So those are the main difference between the two and as you can hear Tangents has advantages over the, over the hardware version or uh, it, it has a more flat uh, frequency response it can open more it can close even more it have a very good low end and it has a more control, controllable resonance than the, than the hardware so I hope that you like this video and if you want to continue getting updates on the modules or, or this kind of uh, explanatory videos, subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.